Hello there and welcome to another episode of Deadliest Catch Alaskan Storm with me, Stocko Gross. How are you? I am very well. Um, okay, so we've uh, we've replaced our fingerless um, Roxanne with uh, Kale, um, and uh, we're going to be heading on back out. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's go back up to there. Oh, we're leaving on a Friday. Everyone, knock on wood. Knock, knock on wood. Don't know what that means. You can't um, get this kind of view from it. An office window. No, sure. Okay, let's get it back up to our grains. And then what I like to do is just... What well, they've been soaking? 34 hours. That's, that's perfect, really. Okay. Oh, there's Sig. Hey, look, wherever we are. So what we need to do is make sure that we're on this side of... This side of the the boys. So let's there we go. Probably there. Uh, let's, come on then. Let's go pick up some uh, some pots. Actually, we could probably use you being a deck under. All right, let's do it. Rather than beating. So let's go. It's dark again. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. We're on the Titanic Mark II. I've got some pots in front of me over there. So we still need to keep turning left. Oh, we're not going to do it. Let's stop. Okay. So what we need to do is just get that there. So heavily turn le left. Are you gonna turn left for me? Oh, that's the bay thrusters. Okay, no, I want that. Don't want to miss it, do we? There they are. Let's straighten up. Throw the hook. Yes! Now we've caught that one. So, uh, no, I don't want the pots. Once you get this sort of set up, you're, you're okay. Nice and slow. Oh, look at that. That is a full, full pot. Yeah. Let's turn on. I don't think we're going to do it. We might be able to do it, but I don't think we can. I think that's too far to throw. Part of fishing is being patient. After you've set your first strings, just remember the longer they sit in the water, the more crab you're going to catch, assuming that you hit anything at all. A trick is to spot check your pots, or you can pull them on a short soak, four to six hours for example. If you see that there's life in the area and something's actually crawling in, leave your pots alone. My advice is to let them cook. Let those pots soak for as long as you can. Two days is usually the best time to pull them on because then you've maximized the time in the water and you've maximized your bait, giving you the most crab you can get out of that area in one soak period. All right, two days. Okay, we left them about 38 hours or whatever. Not quite two days, but a good amount. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to hit. After you haul your first pot, you're going to need to decide whether to stack it or set it back and rebait it. Depending on how much crab is in there, you might want to just try that area one more time. That's up to you. Remember, if there's nothing in them, get them on board and get them moved. 
Okay. 29 keepers. What? 29 keepers? Okay, we're going to stack it. That's, uh, that's not great. Okay, we need to get into position for the next one. I don't think he's going to be able to throw the... Uh, throw the hook that far. He might surprise me. He's got the hook and he's oh he's gone for it. No. When you throw your boat into reverse and yep. use a high RPM, a lot of time the stern is gonna want to pull to the port. That's called propeller walk. It's being sucked over there by the motion of the propeller in a reverse direction. Okay, cool. We're propeller walking. Ah, oh, that's a good throw. Oh, nearly. You could do it. Ah, oh, come on. That is a very good throw. That's the one. Well done. I'm very proud. Actually, that's pretty set us really. Set us up quite nicely for the rest of the pots. There we go. There we go. Just, just touching the accelerator just a little bit. Just so we move forward. Um, looks like we're going to be stacking these back up. Because uh, some of these are not very good. Although it looks like there's loads in there. How many have we got? 39. No. You want it in the hundreds, I think. It's probably because those SIG... He's kind of ruined us a little bit, oh Sig. So we're going to have to sack, stack these up and see if we can take them elsewhere. We're not getting some very good numbers here. But, uh... Yeah, we've got one... I didn't we're only... break it, I'm just here to report it. Oh, you're joking. The crane cable snapped. Okay, repair. It's going to take forever. Creepy. What, what, what's creepy? Okay, so let's knock that off. Let's make sure we're stopped dead. Um, if you fast forward time and you're still going forward, it, it kind of propels you forward. So you've got to make sure that we're stopped dead uh, in the water. So let's just make sure that there, there we go. And then we can fast forward time. And make sure the crane's fixed. Okay. We're good to go. We're just plagued with uh, with bad luck <laughs> during this season. So yeah, we've been playing with a bit of bad luck this season, but I hope uh, next season we're going to be uh, in a good position. I quite like, you know, I don't, I don't know what sort of good number, around about 100. Yeah, if we can get over like 50 or 60, I'll probably set them again. That sort of number. You know, six, you still got pots in the water, so you can't be that bad. And, uh, you know, this other boat's over here, I don't know who that is. Um, that is the, the oh the, the very selfish shellfish so there must be crab around here somewhere and it should be a good number you know a good number of uh, crabs in the pot what we got 
59. Okay, let's set that back then. I'm quite pleased with that. We've got a full crew as well, which is great. Sorting the crab. See that one pot basically was the same as you know the two, the two of the pots. So around that sort of numbers, I'm quite pleased with. Around about this, you know the 50, late 50s, 60s, and anything over, I probably will set back. Yeah, we've got a lot of pots to pick up, so. Oh, it's nice to have a full crew again. Just gonna take a quick drink. My throat's a bit dry. Okay. How much we got in this? Come on, give me give us a hundred. Sixty-eight. Yeah, we're set back. Yeah, sixty-eight is a good uh, a good number. Uh, we don't need to worry about baiting just yet. Um, in fact, I think 15 would keep us going for a little while. Um, there is a way of finding out how long we got left. Oh, you missed. Come on. No way. I'm not turning this boat around. You hit that. Thank you. Uh, there is a way of um, finding out how long we got left of this season. Season time. Um, I think it's... Oh, okay. Here it is. It's the crab count. So, at the moment, 8,000 pounds of crab have been caught. And then there's our fleet total. So, um, when, we get to, when that fleet total gets to the fleet quota, that's when it's kind of end of season. Um So you just gotta keep an eye on that. Thankfully though, in this game, in real life, you know, Sig might pull our pots and take our crab and then put it back. You know, that's a bit of a nasty thing to do, but um at least in this game, hopefully, they won't be doing that. Okay, cool. I don't know it very much at all, does it? Um, I will set it back. Yeah, what we do is we we pick the best of the bunch and. Uh, we stack the real low ones, and whatever we got left over, we'll put another another string somewhere else. But it seems to be working very well. Come on. That was embarrassing. Who's on, who's on the hook? That's better. See, it just looks like loads of crab. There's even so much crab. It, it's full. This should be a good, a good pot. Yeah, what's this, what's how long are they? Yeah, they're spending like uh, over forty hours per pot. Radio fishing is all about lying and cheating. It's like a game of chess. You're trying to outmaneuver the next guy by getting information on that radio any way you can. You're trying to decipher the tone of the, the guy's voice on the radio, for example. You're trying to find out where they may have been. Unless you have a partner that you can trust 100%, radio fishing is a dangerous game in itself. Right, okay. 
So we got uh, Carl. Uh, hey, we're not having our best season so far. What's your spot like? Uh, it's okay. Um, if I say there isn't any crabby and there's like me and Sig like all over it. Um, no, uh, it's okay. Okay, well then, Carl. So this one should be a big, big haul. Come on, give us a hundred. Eighty-six. Yeah, we're definitely gonna set back on that. Now that's fishing. Yeah, Terry. Told you. Stick with me, girl. You go far. That's what you like to see. Them still sorting it when we're setting back the uh, the pot. Okay, we have a bit of a rest. I don't know if they do they rest when they're not doing anything or because they're on the on the deck. They still their energy levels still go down. I'm not quite sure. Um, but uh, yeah, we don't need anybody baiting just yet. I might get Jake to do it. Here we go. Good throw. Yep, good throw. Well done. Oh, that looks a good pot. That looks a very good pot. Yeah, there's a good 60, 70 in there, I reckon. Be interested to see how much money we get once we paid all the wages. You know, we got what? A seven, a six, a six. A three and a two. Um, as percentages of what we're paying, being, you know, that we're paying out. Seventy-nine. Yeah, set back. Yeah, that's good fishing. It doesn't seem doesn't seem a lot, but you know, these percentages they soon add up. Uh, so it'd be interesting. We, we need to catch as much fish as uh, much crab as possible. Jake, why don't you? Uh, this is too boring. Tough. Do some baiting for a little bit. Yeah, let's get that number up to about twenty. And watch your fingers, please. Do not chop your fingers off, okay? Come on, you missed it. Come on. Come on, give us another go. It's right in front of you. Yeah, well done. Go. Nice slow speed. Got the SIG over there. The Northwestern. It doesn't seem to be too much in that one. I'd probably say around about 50. I'm going to set back probably. I don't know, there actually might be a bit more in there. 85, yes, set back. Woohoo! Now that's fishing. Great stuff. Okay, everybody's energy level seems okay. Um at the moment I think it probably takes less energy to to pour the pot empty it and then to set it back than it does to you know actually set the pots in the first place you know, there's, a, there's a lot of work and effort involved in that so we're all just chilling out apart from Jake who's uh, is actually baiting at the moment so we get to uh, about 20 and then we'll uh, we're getting back onto the deck I don't want to go much faster than this. Um, I didn't break it. I'm just here to report it. Oh, one of the engine hoses are leaking oil. We're going to run at reduced power until we fix it. There's also the risk it might catch fire. It's going to take forever. Go repair it. So reduced power, that's fine. 
at least we can carry on fishing that's not the uh, the worst thing that could have happened to us losing power and then having to go back to the uh, the harbor would be the worst thing okay let's have a good throw here then that wasn't a good throw Nope. Try again. Oh, wow. I think I could throw better than that one. Let's go. Yes. That's the one. Why then? There you are. That's a good pot. Well, everything's running... It's a little bit smoother. We're still getting problems. We're still having uh, mechanical issues, but other than that, everyone's got all their fingers. That's the main thing, you know. If you can go, you know, if you can go fishing, crab fishing, and still have ten fingers after, then you're in a good position to uh, to make some money. That looks like a good pot. Eighty-five. Yes, we we'll set that back. Okay. Okay, Jake's nearly finished with the uh, repairs, which is good. Shouldn't do any fires on uh, on a boat. I think a fire on a boat is the worst, isn't it? I suppose flooding on a boat is pretty bad. Actually, anything, any bad thing on a boat is 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 quite bad. Uh, we're good to go. Brilliant. Let's turn those revs down a bit. There you go. Well done, Jake. Okay, energy levels are looking pretty good apart from Kale. He's... He's a bit tired. I wonder if Kale is a person on the... Um, on the hook at the moment. I'm not quite sure he's on the hook. Terrible. Yes, good shot. No. Nope. Go on, try again. That's better. Cool. What does that look like? Yep, yeah, that's full to the brink. Full to the tunnels, as our six says. Full to the tunnels. See, I don't know whether that's like nine percent full, as in that the hold is ninety nine percent full, or is it nine percent of our quota? Ninety seven. Yes, we're going to set that back. Of course, we're going to set that back. Judging, baby. Yeah. 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 See all the morale. I just noticed the morale's all gone up now. Like Tico could not be happier. Tico is like, oh, this is like the best thing that's ever happened to him. You know, he's absolutely ecstatic. Yeah, Kale's, you know, he's, he's seems a bit cheesed off. I don't know why. Uh, let's see if we can speed up a bit here. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's a bit cheesed off. Not sure. Cool. Yeah, this is some good fishing. We haven't got our over a hundred yet, but we've uh, yeah ninety seven. That's pretty close. Come on, you could do it. Don't make me stop. Oh gosh. Painful. That's it. Well done. Well done. Uh, 
Here we go. That looks a good pot. This could be a winner. This could be a, over a hundred. Place your bets now. <laughs> That looks like a very good pot. Oh, 97 again. Yeah, I've set that back. Lovely. Uh, no sig in sight. That's what you like to see. It's just us. The seagulls and the Bering Sea. So we got, yeah. So we started about five hours ago. Yeah, it seems okay. Actually, yeah, I don't think we're going to get this full string done in time. But uh, we'll give it a good go. You know, we're not one for showing away of hard work, are we? Good throw. Nearly. You got it. No. Nope. Try it again. Oh, so close. Throw the hook properly. Come on. Oh, you can imagine now. Captain Phil Harris or Captain. Uh, Sig or somebody just have like, literally ripping them for missing the hook so many times. Well, I don't. Oh, I don't know. That looks like another good pot to me. Hey, yeah, we're cooking on gas. There's a fleet total at the moment. Uh, 300,000. Okay, so we've got quite a bit to go. We've How probably... much more of this is there? There's loads, Kale. There's loads. I think Kale's a bit of a depressive, isn't he? You know, he... when we hired him, he was like, oh, gosh. He wasn't very happy. Come on, you're living the dream. Hey, how's the fishing over there? Sig. Uh, there's no crab here whatsoever. Yeah, Roger that. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, hundred and nine. Yes, we got over a hundred. Okay, let's set that back. Come on, somebody, be happy. Come on. Set it back. Yeah, Jake. That's what I'm talking about, my friend. Set it back. That's how we roll. Are you ready for the next pot? I just seem quite far away, but. Come on. You can do it. Hopefully this is leveling up his skill. You know, I don't know if it works that way. There we go, that's the one. No. Nope. Keep going. Come on, I'll put you back into it. Throw it. Oh, gosh. This is painful. I think it's Stan on the hook. He's the one with the cap. Yeah. That's why his energy is depleting, because he's... Oh, gosh, Stan. What are you doing? What's he like on the hook? Hook throw in, he's pretty good. Come on, mate. That's the one. There we go. There we go. Oh, 
hopefully another good uh, yeah good pot looks it to be what a beautiful day the seas is as calm as ice lovely Uh, that looks to be a good one. 113. Yes, pick me. Whew, there's some serious money in there. Yes, there is. It's all ours. Okay, probably need to get closer to you there. Is he going to make that throw? I'm not quite sure. It's quite far away. I'm going to try and get closer. Oh, what a throw. Can't push much longer. Going to need some sleep soon. Okay, hang in there. This this is it. This is yours. No. Nope. Bit more. Okay, close. Quite close. Stan, you're gonna have to go for a rest in a minute. Okay, one more. Come on. This is it. Come on, Stan. I could use a quick nap. Oh, Thanks. On, take, take a break, go on. Oh gosh. I don't think we get anyone you can use the uh I think I saw Terry. That's Terry on the Terry is on the uh, on the hook throwing. Great. Oh my gosh. Tico. Tico needs to be on the hook throw in. How can I get Tico to hook throw? This is terrible. Oh, what well an Terry. Good throw. Well then, Tez. Tezer. That looks to be a good pot. Yeah, I do want to kind of get closer to them. What do you reckon? This is going to be over 100, I know it. I'm sorry if you can hear my phone. I got Jarvis off, um... I got Jarvis off, uh, Iron Man. Excuse me, sir. You have a message on your phone. 115! Yes, they're like getting better. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, they're going to set that one back. Alright, we're fairly close to this one. Come on, Terry, you can do it. Come on, Terry, you can do it. It's just right there. It's just like literally just there. Just just drop it off over the edge. Oh, lucky. Oh, wow. You are awful. Thank you very much. I'm so tired. I don't know what day it is. Okay, hang in there. Yeah, this hook is uh, really draining their energy. So uh, we we'll, we we'll get stun out in a minute. You know, Stan can come out about quarter past four, uh, quarter past five, and then we get Terry to have a have a break. All right, as we're closer, now we could probably do that. Oh 
we could probably do that. There you go. Yeah. All right, come on, Stan. Time to get up. When Stan comes back, Stan should hopefully get on the hook. And then uh, Terry should last a little bit longer. I think it's because she was on the hook. Yeah, we set that back. Rock and good... roll. Yeah, rock and roll. That's some good numbers there. Okay, we just need to start managing people's... Uh... People's uh, energy levels, because... Um... Come on, that's quite close. You can get that one. Come on, Stan. Stan the man, they call you. It's right in front of you. Come on. I can't believe it. You missed. I cannot believe you missed that throw. I cannot believe you missed that throw again. It's harder to miss that pot than it was to get it. Come on, Stan. Step up. You're the boss. <clears throat> Here we go. That's a nice pot of crabs there. So I think uh, Terry deserves to have a break in a bit. Actually, it might be favourable just to stop stop what we're doing and just let everybody sleep for a few hours, maybe. But we're on such good fishing. Captain, we need a break. We don't want anyone to get hurt out here. Captain, Sorry, no. we better get a break soon. Okay, you go for a break. Now that's fishing. Yeah. You need something? I'm so tired I can't see. Cool. The captain's in a good mood. Can I take a break too, Cap? No. Okay, cool. Okay, Terry's gonna have a bit of a nap. We'll see if we can get another two pots done. That's the plan. If we get another two pots done, uh we'll stop. And then we'll do the next lot. Yeah, okay. Because that's, that's, um, we've got a bit of time. What's that? Nine hours. So, yeah, we, we can do that. We we'll stop for about three or four hours. Recharge the batteries. And then we'll get straight back at it. I love that aspect of the game. You know, where you've got to sort of manage their energy levels. You've got to, you know, the morale. and like, re Everyone's really happy apart from Kale, who, who apparently hates catching uh, catching crab. You might be scared of crab. I don't know, what it, I, I, I don't know why you're so... Uh, you so against it. Okay, that's not very good. Uh, yeah, that's better. Um, yeah, that that uh, that looks that looks awesome. Because how many? Uh, what's that? Forty-seven hours. Forty-seven hours. Thirty-nine hours. Okay. So we're going to give them a cut. Of, yeah, two days, as Six says. We're going to give them two days worth of uh, soak or cook for two days, and um, yeah, until we have a rest. Yeah, everyone's pretty tired. We will do one more, and then we we'll rest. Okay, that's the plan. So come on, Terry. Ooh, my head. Let's go. I can't do this much longer. Come on, hang in there. One more pot. That's good fishing there. Hundred and six. We're on the uh, we're on the money. It was a bit iffy to start with, you know. He's getting some low numbers. You can't argue with those numbers, though. You get in the hundreds. That's some good fishing. Yep, it's night time. Right, we've got uh, the last pot then coming up. And then you can all have a rest. Nobody get injured on this last pot. Come on now, let's get together and burn. 